Alright, so we're in the middle of this heat wave right now. Yesterday it was like 110 with the heat index. Today it's supposed to be like 115. So I got my little buddy here sitting with me. The dogs are in here. This place is a little nice in air condition. So we brought them in here. So this guy I thinks he's in paradise. He's getting all this room to run around in. Anyway, the uh, puppy wheel is getting dangerously close to being finished. Um, we've had some. And there's no nice way to put it, a freaking disaster with the chrome platers. They uh, bent the windshield frame uh, six months now. They've been doing the plate on the windshield. And with the grill, they completely disassembled the entire grill. Every part. Unwelded every seam. Plated everything. And then sent it back. So it's kind of a mess. Um, so I talked to another plater and said, how do you do this? And they said, well, they should have taken it apart, coppered everything, sweated it back together, and then plated it. Well, they didn't. Well, and then after the fact, you can't put it back together without damaging the chrome. So it took us about 20 hours to straighten every single bar because they bent the shit out of the bars when we polished them. Um, so it took us about 20 hours to straighten the bars. And we've had to, to reinvent the way to put the grill back together. So it's not going to be original, which really sucks. So from platers have cost us a freaking conquest card. Um, you know, 10 of these out there, what do you do? So that was two and a half thousand bucks worth of chrome. So, yeah. So you got a big bowl of food and you're eating a covered wood box. <laughs> so this is the outer part of the grill. This is the inner part. And we've got to temporarily bolt it together so we can figure out uh, where all these bars go. And there's a right and a left bar and there's not much difference in some of these. And I'm not shitting you, it took us a good part of an hour just to straighten out which bar it goes to which side and which position. Alright, so these bars, they had a tab on the top and what they would do is the bar would go through and locate up in there and you'd fold the tab over. And if the chromers had done their job right, they would have heated it up, melted the solder, saved the tab. But they didn't. They cut every tab off with a grinder. So they did that. So that takes us away any chance of relocating the bars correctly. So what we, what we ended up doing is we ended up having to epoxy some 1032 rod into them. And then what we're going to have to do is drill holes through the whole grill and bowl them in. So, kind of sucks. A lot of work for somebody else's fuck up. This is another classic example of giving the job to someone else to do and they don't do it right. Um, so I had them boil, radiator, test it, and all that kind of stuff. And when I was cleaning it up to paint it, I noticed that this line had a rubber hose on it. And it split here, and the effect was a piece of rubber hose from one to the other for the overflow. So yesterday we just sweated a new line in it and painted it. So she's good to go back in. And then there was something. I was thinking some kind of rubber plate or
Alright, so this is the gorilla, and um, it's about 40 hours later, and uh, every single tab the mounts these bars in were cut off by the platers, so we had to completely reinvent the whole grill. So the lesson here is uh, send your shocks out way early because they take about eight weeks to get them rebuilt. Cost you about 900 bucks and you damn know got to put them on before the body goes on. So this thing is rapidly approaching finished and I didn't get shit to video and that's what really sucks is I get so busy I forget to turn the camera on so I've missed so much of the finish of this damn car. Uh, I'd like to actually do better than that next time so I'm actually thinking about just getting a bunch of cameras and shoving them in this building and then just basically letting them run just stored on a uh, computer and then just pick through it later maybe do some better videos. Anyway. Um, we're down to 20 things on the list, so hopefully that's all today. Uh, and then she's got to go back over to the paint. They've got to put a pinstripe on it, and they've got to fix a couple of little glitches with the upholstery. Um, and unfortunately, we don't have the windshield. That's a freaking disaster. Um, 
but we'll get it out to Connecticut and the guys that are doing a rush job on the Chrome are actually going to ship it to Connecticut and we'll get it installed so that we get to the show in time. What a bitch. Okay, so I didn't get to do much video of the finish of the hot mobile here. And this is actually out where it's going to live. As you can see, we don't have the windshield back in it yet. We're still waiting on it.